go for main engine start. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff to harmony to the heavens. WTF? What's the freedom? I wonder what else this can do. Let's slow down. I'm Jacob, I'm here, and we're going for a drive! 2022 GMC Hummer EV. Edition one with WTF mode, initiating launch sequence. Vehicle will lower, check surroundings. Watch to freedom, vehicle lowering. Floor it. Release brake. Holy crap. <laughs> are we, are, did we just get to the moon? Horsepower and torque. 1,000 horsepower, 11,500 pound-feet of torque from three electric motors and a 200 kilowatt hour battery. Okay, what's the actual pound-feet of torque? Uh, yeah, GM uses some crazy math to get to that number. It's realistically probably around 1,000 or 1,200 pound-feet of torque, which is still a crap ton. And if you liked watching this Hummer drive off the road and fly off into space, Maybe hit subscribe for special effects. Maybe even hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more special effects. And also hit the like button because we haven't asked you to like any videos in a very long time. I think people like our videos. I hope they do, just hit the like button. And this thing is gigantic. You don't really feel the weight on the launch, but you really feel it on braking, so hit me with it. Oh, wow. Okay, that's an intense But break. it does a great job. Uh, it sure does. Now, let's talk about Watts to Freedom. It's currently on standby. This is the most impressive, most theatrical launch control I think I've ever experienced. Yes, and everything is like moon launch related, so that's pretty cool. And it's very funny, GM, how you made it, what the f into something different. We get the joke. It's, it's brilliant, actually. It's clever enough. And then the next cool thing with the moon theme if I go to my vehicle settings and then display, check this out. Oh, oh we just landed on the moon. You can see the shadows from the rotation. How sick is that? That's pretty sick. Now the next sickest thing, we have a crab walk. Yeah, that's right. We can drive straight while it looks like we're actually not driving straight and turning left and right. But I thought it would be crank the wheel and you can just go fully crank. But if you crank too much, then it starts turning because you can actually kind of drive normally in crab walk mode. Yeah, so you can make the car look like it's going dead straight while the wheels are turning because yes, this is all wheel drive. Yes, this is all wheel steering. And we have, I think, up to 10 degrees of rear wheel steering, which we can also control with this button to also disable all wheel steering when you're driving straight. And I found the best way to do a perfect crab walk if you guys ever get to drive one of these, which would be really fun is to have the wheel angle display in your gauge cluster up. And using the all wheel steering in this truck or super truck as GM calls it, and now I fully believe them, it's a little disconcerting at first because the front kind of doesn't really follow where the steering's going. So I kind of like to disable that while I'm driving like on regular roads. Yeah, you can put rear wheel steering to auto or off. You need to think third person view Grand Theft Auto when you're driving it with rear wheel steering in crab mode or else it's one of the most extreme rear wheel steering cars we've ever experienced. It's the coolest, it's the coolest. Yeah. And then while you're using crab walk, you can use your cameras to not only see full 360 and everything, you can see underneath at the front and underneath at the back, and you can use water there to clean it off. Yeah, I think there's like 18 or 20 cameras on this thing, it's, it's nuts. And say I wanted to crab walk with some Continental tires, what would be the Continental recommended tire for a Hummer EV? The Terrain Contact AT. And right now, get up to a $100 Visa prepaid card with the purchase of four qualifying Continental light truck and SUV tires from now through August 31st, 2022. For more details, visit continentaltire.com slash the stray pipes. Okay, next impressive thing is all of the graphics on the screens and infotainment. And obviously on a crazy truck like this, you're like, why infotainment? Because a video game company made all the animations and it looks cooler than every other car in the world. Yeah, we have several different drive modes and it actually just fully looks like a video game. Uh, I like my mode because in my mode, I have customized this to be off-road sound, which is the loudest. Let's take a listen from the inside. Crap. Uh, also, it's really, really quick for uh, being uh, 9,000 pounds, which is the equivalent of about three Honda Civics. But like Yuri said, it doesn't feel like that until you actually have to, you like 
do a full emergency stop. And then my favorite animation is the tow mode because they're towing a rocket because space theme and the moon. Yes, and there's more space theme throughout this interior, like on the speaker grills, you have the uh, terrain of the moon. We also have a boot print from the first astronaut, I believe. And in terms of Easter eggs that are space related slash competitor related, if you go into the auxiliary switches, you can customize what the auxiliary switches look like. And there's so many different funny things. There's like a wheelchair, there's a skull, but there's actually an image with the Hummer driving over the Tesla Cybertruck, a T-Rex eating the burnout dust of a Hummer, and a Hummer as an asteroid hitting a T-Rex and a Velociraptor Raptor. That is very cool. And you know what else is very cool? The fact that we were able to get this car from the Leggett Auto Group in Southern Ontario. Hit them up if you're looking for any GMC, Buick, Chevrolet, Corvette, and they have a whole bunch of other dealerships as well. And this is the first Cybertruck. Oh, no, sorry, it's not a Cybertruck. This is the first Hummer HEV in Canada, I believe. Yeah, yeah, big shout out to those guys. And if you're in the United States, hit up tsp.truecar.com. Discounted price offers, they actually do have Hummer EVs for sale in the United States. They're not available in Canada yet. So again, huge shout out to Leggett for actually getting one to Canada. So we're getting really carried away with lots of gimmicks because that's really what this truck is. Let's talk about how it is actually to drive. Uh, yes, it's this really quick, really, really quick, considering the size, but the width of this thing, it's huge. Yo, those aren't gimmicks, those are features. This whole car is a feature bundle. Fine. But yeah, it's, it's so wide. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm never in my lane and I'm scared I'm gonna clip everything. Yeah, like driving a Raptor is one thing, driving this is another. But it, it feels like kind of nimble-ish. Uh, kind of-ish. Like, like the, the steering is steering so light. Is really, really light. Taking this through Cliche Corner, which I'll do soon, not the best, but it's really not built for that. This is built for crab walking and impressing people in parking lots and obviously off-road. And this is one of my favorite electric vehicles that I've ever driven because it has so many cool features. The fact that it's a Hummer, the fact that it has all this crazy stuff just adds to the fact that it's an electric vehicle. Like, I don't even think that this is an electric car when I'm driving it. Yeah, yeah, they, they, um, they have so many non-EV features that they don't need to make it bad with like, oh, touch screen, like, look how many hard buttons we have. Right. Like and it's they, an electric vehicle. And they've really tapped into the American like mentality. Like this thing is big. It's all about numbers. Like there's so many crazy numbers, zero to 60, three seconds, thousand horsepower, 11,000 pound feet of torque. Like all the crazy numbers that Americans would love, they did it. I, I will say though, this is like the wrong direction for being environmental at 100%. Oh, for sure. Which is like, I guess, in line with being a Hummer as well. It'd be cool to see these features in like an off-road Chevy Bolt. <laughs> yes, yeah, a Safari Bolt. Yeah, the WRX competitor. So before I talk about the battery specific stuff, let's send this through Cliche Corner. Ooh, lots of body roll, uh, lots of tire squeal. Gets you around though. It sure does. And I, I do have rear steering on right now and that's where it kind of feels like I'm pointing that way, but I'm going that way. It's kind of crazy. Or is it? I can't even see if it's moving or it not. It feels like that to me which is a little weird. So I would just turn it off while I'm driving. Now the electric stuff, GM doesn't really tell you what the, uh, the time is to charge and stuff like that. The only thing that they say is it gets up to 100 miles in 10 minutes. Look, look. At a 350 charger, because this is 800 volt architecture in perfect circumstances. All public chargers are hit or miss, so let's just- uh, Charge this at home. Good luck. Yes, uh, the range though, the range is fantastic. 530 kilometers which is 329 miles, very respectable. Yeah, well, I mean, look how much I know, I know, but it's, it's a 200 kilowatt battery, that's huge. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the huge launch and the huge brake stop, let's the go. The what the f This is major thump to ground control. I can't use that song. No, probably not. <laughs> Bit of a process to this. We'll use it on the TikTok we do. And then it shakes your butt, it's like, go, go, go. Floor, Floor it. it. Release brake. Oh! And full Holy brakes! Crap. Okay, 9,000 pounds. Lots of ABS and stuff going on, but it stops you dead in your tracks. Like, it's really, really, really good. And let's talk about how much this car actually moves. Super cyber truck, whatever. Truck, sorry, I'm gonna call this 50 different things throughout this video. <laughs> it moves up like crazy when you launch it. It moves down like crazy when you brake. It's all over the place in like a really fun way. I really like this. Uh, we should mention that this is air suspension. You can raise it like six inches, like it, it maximum can do ground clearance. Three feet of water fording. Yeah, crazy. Like it, it looks kind of funny at maximum height. And then you can also slam it, kind of. Okay, and then say I'm cruising. Remember that Turbo GT didn't really boogie that much when I was in a normal mode, but. Best sport response here. 
I'm going to let off and I'm going to cruise and I'm going to hit this left paddle. Yeah, it's only one paddle. To do regen braking, but through the settings, I can set it to on or high. So right now you're braking with your hand and you can come to a complete stop. And regenerate my battery. I'm mean, being environmental about it. Absolutely you are. And there's something up here that says max view release. So if I hit this right here, watch this. I'm going to drop that rear window. Oh, just like a Chevy Colorado. Uh, like a Tundra. Chevy Avalanche? Yeah, I guess an Avalanche. Avalanche, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I yeah. meant. But uh, a Tundra also does that. And then we also have Freedom Tops. I don't know if they're actually called Freedom Tops because that's a Jeep thing, but we can take off all four T-Tops, throw them in the hood, the in, frunk, in the frunk yeah. which is powered, that you open from down there, and they've got bags that tell you which one they go to, and it's easy to install and click back in. It's pretty awesome. They're what the Freedom Tops. Okay, and then what if the sun was in our eyes? Let's see. These are big far visors. Careful. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh, it doesn't quite doesn't <laughs> matter over here, but it does, it's, it slides. It's the effort. And then we do have cup holders that look like they'll fit a small, no problem. They'll also fit a big gulp, I think. All right, I'm going to try a crab walk right here. How do you enable crab walk? You hold this left button and then you get a cool crab walk animation. You gotta let it load. THX, you are listening. And then let me make sure that I can see my wheel angle so I can... Going straight, but going left. Straight, but sideways. <laughs> there, it's there, so that, that, that's, the, that's yeah. the sensation yes. we wanted. Yeah, it's so weird. Oh, this is the coolest party trick ever. Yeah, so you can oh, drive God. down here <laughs> a little slower, now it's straightened out. Yeah, you can still go up to like 30 kilometers an hour and crab walk and have a, like an ungodly amount of rear steering that makes you nauseous. Yeah, uh, like actually nauseous. Like, it's really cool, and I would use this all the time if I bought this. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, it doesn't make sense when you see this on the road. Okay, so speaking of this little mode dial, uh, here's where you can raise, lower the suspension. And on the right, if you press this little triangle looking button, it actually tells you to email GMC with your epic ideas. So if you're sitting there parked, you're like, I wish this Hummer had this, you press this button and remind yourself to send them an email. Interesting. A couple more fun things I'm gonna rip through really, really quickly. This does have Super Cruise and it works really well. We've got a lot of room in the interior. Front seats, comfortable, lots of room. Uh, yeah, we're not as far apart as we were in Chris Fix's Hummer H1, though. Yeah, but the back seat room compared to his H1, like, this <laughs> this is really nice. You can lift the seats up. we got little compartments back there. And considering Chris has an H1, this can actually air down its tires to a set pressure, but it can't air them back up like an H1 could. And then we have a truck bed, five-foot bed. That's the only size you'll get from here. And you can only get this in a four-door. I feel like you can also get this in an SUV as well, yes, right? Yes, it's, it's coming. The truck is first. And then what gimmicks do we have in the truck bed? Uh, it's got that, like, whatever they call it, multi-pro. You can change so many different things about the tailgate. You can have it drop down normally. You can use it as a step. You can use it as, like, an extension for ladders and whatever. So it's, it's pretty cool. It has good, normal truck capabilities. Yes, and then towing 7,500 pounds, which uh, is decent. Not the craziest, though. But it shows a, a spaceship in the infotainment screen. Yes, yes and, it does. And through cliche corner, like normal driving, it's good. It's tire squealing. <laughs> I'd say it's up there with like the um, the Mojave uh, Jeep. Kind of, yeah. I feel like similar, similar to that. And then as for looks, we've got very cool DRLs that say Hummer at the front in the lights and everything. It's awesome. Yeah, and those aren't the actual headlights. The headlights are in the bumper, which that's where the projectors are. And when this thing is charging, you can also see the charge amount in the front in the lights, which is always a fun gimmick for all these uh, new EVs that are coming out. And then as for body lines combined with the black roof, I think all of it looks nice. Everyone's been looking at this thing for like years, so we don't really need to get too into it. We both really like the looks. Love the looks. And then to jump back to the infotainment, lots of hard buttons. We've got a volume knob. Then we've got a really different design that we haven't seen before in anything GM, custom for the Hummer EV. The graphic design looks really cool. Like we got little like hand-drawn kind of sketches, almost like drafting uh, spaceship stuff. This is what to astronauts build. must look at. <laughs> and then it's got Apple CarPlay. It's got Sirius XM satellite radio. It does rewind, so this would be amazing because you'd probably probably get some good Sirius XM satellite reception on the moon yeah and use our link for three months of free series xm i actually don't know if the satellite points at the moon but <laughs> let's just pretend space let's, let's, let's assume that's been to the moon as well because gm apparently developed like the the lunar lander or whatever which is why this is all space themed i think and then this is built in android and google maps so that's pretty cool just like the volvo c40 that i drove if we click the google maps button we have the shortcut to find you a charging station built right in which was the most convenient thing of the Volvo C40. Yeah, it works really well here. 
Our rear view mirror can also flip to the camera screen built in, which is nice because it's such a big truck. And generally the interior actually looks pretty cool. It's very functional, a lot of squared off things. I really love the colors on this. This bronze got like almost like a metallic in it. Yeah, the lines are all cool. I like the embossed Hummer in the white door panel. And these are white seats, which actually look blue because of the tint from our Freedom, what the Freedom Tops. Yeah, no, I like everything about this. I think it's time to get to the price. This edition one is 110,395 US dollars. Amazing. And it's currently not for sale in Canada. <laughs> well, I think it's for sale. They just don't have any here. True. This particular one will be for sale. Like, obviously, this is too big, but it's a very cool showcase of technology, and I'm very excited to be driving it. Big shout out to Leggett Auto Group. Thank you so much for letting us get behind the wheel of this and, like, just really have fun with it. Yeah, I'm so impressed by this. I honestly did not expect to be so impressed by all these features, but it's so cool and everything works so well. Yeah, the speed of this isn't even the most impressive thing. Like, exactly. Like this could be in a gas car and it would still be as impressive. I totally agree, which is why I love this so much. All right, so would you take this over at Cybertruck? Oh, for sure I would, because this exists. Yuri, this is the Cybertruck that exists. R.I.P. Cybertruck. R.I.P. Uh, Rivian, because we haven't driven one. And uh, R.I.P. everyone, this is the fastest, best truck we've ever driven in our lives. I would take this over a hypothetical Rivian, I think, at this moment. You know what, right now, I might even take this over the new Raptor. 